Hi everybody. I'm uh, making this video here uh, today. We're the 27th of uh, October, and uh, we've got. Uh, I haven't been talking very much on internet, uh, on videos, or on articles or anything. I haven't uh, been talking a lot for a couple of weeks now, three weeks, and. Um, my message today is, uh, okay, we, you people have seen what's going on with Ebola and uh, the war in Syria and Obama. And now, progressively, Obama is uh, going into this, like the end of his, of his energy, because uh, in the next election is coming up next, just in one week now, in the beginning of November, uh, he's supposed to uh, be winning, uh, the GOP is winning, and he's supposed to be losing very heavily. They, they're talking about Obama losing the Senate. So Obama will basically not have any power at all. His only power will be able to will be that of vetoing whatever the other people are doing. You'll, it'll be vetoing, and they're just going to rip apart everything he's doing. So I mean, basically, it looks like Obama is is finished now as as far as a political power. So. There are a lot of people that are saying that Ebola and uh, the war in Syria and uh, th these are all signs of the end times. And also we see Obama's uh, losing his power. That's also a sign of the end times of the apocalypse. That's like the, the fourth horseman of the apocalypse. But these last three weeks I've been reading what's being published and uh, people are saying this is the end, this is the apocalypse and everything. But everybody is saying, oh, let's turn towards Jesus, uh, pray to Jesus. But I have to say to people, you can't do that. You can't say pray to Jesus. Uh, uh, Jesus, come and save us. Save, uh, Jesus will save us. Because Jesus himself said in the Bible, there will come many people in the end times who will say, come in my name, and they'll say, I am the way, I am the truth. And uh, they, they will pass off as, as being Jesus. I, they'll, they'll say they're, they'll be Jesus themselves or else they'll, they'll be speaking in the name of Jesus. They'll be saying, you know, pray to Jesus. Jesus, come and help us and do the... People cannot speak in the name of Jesus because Jesus said many people will speak in my name and those will be false prophets or false Christs. He said they're false Christs. So what I'm telling people is now is the apocalypse. Okay, I agree with people, but you can't invoke Jesus. You can't speak in Jesus' name. That doesn't work. It doesn't work. You, The messengers of the apocalypse are there for like they're, they're like a plumber. You, you call a plumber because you got a problem. He has to come and fix the problem. And you're not going to ask the plumber to do anything else. He just has to fix the problem because there's water all over the place. He has to fix the problem. The messengers of the apocalypse are people who are called in an urgency, in emergency, to fix the problem. They're like ghostbusters. They have to fix the problem. Fixing the problem is to reveal the Antichrist. Obama is the Antichrist. We have all the signs announcing him the Ebola, the war, and everything, and Obama's uh, going down the drain. So all the signs of the apocalypse are there, and just, we just have to fix the problem. The fixing the problem is revealing that Obama's the Antichrist. Now, a lot of people say uh, Obama's the Antichrist because of this, th this, or that, and a lot of reasons, but there is no proof that Obama is the Antichrist, which we human beings can produce and prove because he, he is very crafty, masterful, powerful. He, he's a de deceiver. The, the Antichrist is a master deceiver. He's a man of miracles. He can survive anything. Nothing can, no way we can stop him. He's Teflon, Teflon president. But there is one way, which is said in the Bible, that says that the Antichrist can only be defeated by divine means. And people say, oh yeah, well that's by Jesus saying, oh yeah, Jesus will come and, uh, and reveal Obama. No, it's not by Jesus. Jesus said that you can't invoke me. You can't come and talk in my name. There is a miracle, a heavenly miracle. Uh, there was a Newsweek article by Liz Miller, which came out and said that uh, the day after Obama's election, 666 was drawn in the lottery in Chicago. That is a heavenly miracle. 
That's a miracle. That's a miraculous number of 666, which was announced in the Bible and which came out the day after his election in his hometown of Chicago. It's a miracle. And there is no other miracle. There are no other miracles. People say, oh, yeah, Obama is a liar. People say he has a... He, he, he is uh, gay, so he's the abomination. Okay, that fits with, the, uh, with, with Obama being the Antichrist because the Antichrist is uh, gay. But that's not proof positive. We have to have a, a, a direct proof. That's, that, that means he being gay means he looks like the Antichrist. He fits with being the Antichrist. That fits him. But I mean, you could say that about all gay people. Oh, they fit to be the Antichrist. People have said uh, George Bush was the Antichrist because of this, this, and this. But we need a direct proof that he is the Antichrist. And we have it. We have it. The lottery drew 666 in Chicago the day after his election. So people need to use this direct proof that Obama is the Antichrist. And they have to stop saying, Jesus will come and save us, and we are speaking in the name of Jesus. Because Jesus, Jesus said, no, pe do not follow people who say they're coming in my name and, uh, and say, Jesus this, Jesus that. People who come and, say, and speak in the name of Jesus, they say, I am a Christian. I believe in Jesus. Jesus will save us. I'm waiting, waiting for Jesus to come. That doesn't work. Because there are all kinds of false Christs, false prophets, who are using the name of Jesus. So in the time of the Apocalypse, that does not work. There's only one thing which can work, is to reveal the Antichrist. And we can reveal the Antichrist by number 666, which was prophesied in the Bible. We have to use the Bible. There's the prophecy of 666. We have that. That's the proof Obama is the Antichrist. And we have in the Bible, it says, to, to beware and do not follow people who come speaking in Jesus' name. People who say, uh, they, all, any preacher who comes says, I, uh, we have to follow Jesus. No, don't follow them. That's what Jesus himself said that. If you people believe in Jesus, do what Jesus said in the Bible. Do not follow people who come speaking in Jesus' name, in his name. He says, don't follow them. They're not me. So beware of the false Christs. Reveal the Antichrist, Obama using the 666 miracle, which it curses him and proves that Obama is the Antichrist, and you'll go to heaven that way. And that's the way to do it. So that's my video for today. I hope you people can use this and spread this news, basically, that the way to go to heaven, the way to reveal the Antichrist, is very simple. Just follow what's written in the Bible. And don't go off on any other stuff about talking about Jesus. Don't talk about Jesus and the Antichrist because Jesus himself said, don't follow people who talk about Jesus in the apocalypse. Because he, he said, it'll be, the, the Christianity will be rotten, corrupted. Uh, there'll be false Christs everywhere. So Jesus said, beware of Christian people talking about Jesus in the apocalypse. Don't follow anybody talking about Jesus in the apocalypse. He said, it's, it's like if you're in a spy movie, you know. If you're in a spy movie and you don't know who, who is spying on who and who, who, if people are double spies and everything, then you're very careful. Then you're very careful. You don't trust other people. In the apocalypse, do not trust anybody coming and saying, oh, I am uh, talking in the name of Jesus. Don't trust them. Jesus said that. Okay, people, that's my video for today. Bye-bye.